Hello, and welcome to day 11 of our Osteoporosis Awareness Challenge. Today, we're going to have a look at how our bones form. Before we were born, our bones started out as cartilage, the same kind of cartilage that makes up our ears and our nose today. Then our bone building cells, our osteoblasts and our osteoclasts started working together to form what we recognize today as bone. We're familiar with the process of bones getting longer from our growing from children into adolescence and eventually into adulthood. At some point during our adolescence, we stopped growing and it's usually at this point that it's easy to stop thinking about our bones. It's different to think about our bones as changing throughout our lives, but they do. Just as we have cells throughout our bodies that die and need to be replaced continually, our bones have their own version of this same process. Parts of our bones are constantly being replaced. About every seven to 10 years, our bodies have replaced so much bone that we effectively have a new skeleton. That's quite an accomplishment. It also means that what we do now can have an impact on our bones in the months and years to come. The process of our old bone cells being broken down and new bone cells being created is called the bone remodeling process. By the time most of us reach about age 20, we have about 90% of what's referred to as peak bone mass. The other 10% continues happening throughout our 20s, helping us to hit our peak bone mass at about age 30. After age 30, the balance between bone cells growing and developing and our old bone being broken down begins to slowly shift. Our bodies start to break down more bone than they form. This is normal and we even want it to happen. If our old bone cells are not broken down, then we have old dead bone cells hanging around that can make our bones brittle and more likely to break. Strong, healthy bone has some flexibility to it. Something else that's interesting to realize is that when our bodies create more new bone, they're also more likely to break down more old bone. If our bodies stop sweeping away old bone, they're also less likely to build new bone. So the natural process of our bodies is that when we make bone, more bone is also broken down. And when we don't break down as much bone, our bodies don't make as much new bone either. These two processes tend to work together. There are things that can cause this process to get out of balance and make it so that we're breaking down bone significantly more quickly than we're forming it. This is when osteopenia and osteoporosis develop if left alone for a while without making significant changes to our lifestyle. Bone loss that happens faster than it should is generally undetectable since it happens without pain or symptoms that we're aware of. This is actually why osteoporosis is referred to as a silent disease. The first sign is often having a fracture. In today's world, there are other ways of learning about our bones and the most widely available being a DEXA scan. While DEXA might not be perfect, it's pretty good. And for sure, it's helpful for a first gauge at how things look. DEXA scans are generally only used on older adults. I personally really hope that this changes in years to come. If DEXA scans were more regularly used earlier, like from about age 40 onwards, this would give people an idea of the shape of their bones and also help inform people that they need to work on improving their bone health much earlier, which could potentially prevent many people from experiencing painful fractures. So if you have a family history of osteoporosis and fractures, or if you have a medical condition that causes bone loss, you might actually qualify to get a DEXA scan earlier. And I encourage you to check with your doctor or your medical practitioner to find out if you can get a DEXA earlier. This brings us back to our osteoporosis awareness challenge today. I invite you to find out how your bones are doing. If it's been a while since you had a DEXA, I invite you to schedule your next one. If you haven't had a DEXA yet, I encourage you to schedule your first one and get things checked out. And if you've recently had a DEXA scan, then I encourage you to go over your numbers and know where you're at. For a quick reference, look for your T-scores. Normal bone is between one and negative one. Osteopenia is in the range of below negative one and negative 2.4. Osteoporosis begins with a negative 2.5 and continues on down the scale. There's something that all of us can work on doing to improve our bone health, regardless of where we are in our journey. And knowing where we stand is important for figuring out what we should do next. 
I hope that this is insightful and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.